One of the most closely watched congressional races in the country this fall will be in Minnesota's first congressional district. It's a swing district where both Republicans and Democrats have recently won. The incumbent this fall is first-term Republican Jim Hagedorn. Last month, he announced he's been fighting stage four kidney cancer for the last year. Hagedorn's wife is Jennifer Carnahan, the GOP party chair. Esme Murphy has tonight's talking points. Minnesota's first congressional district is one of the few congressional districts in the country that consistently flips between Democratic and Republican control. It's a district that extends from southeastern Minnesota west to the South Dakota border. Democrat Tim Walz held the seat for 12 years from 2007 to 2019 when he became governor. He was succeeded by Republican Jim Hagedorn, who in 2018 beat his Democratic opponent Dan Feehan by less than 1,500 votes. Last month, Hagedorn announced he was fighting stage four kidney cancer and that he had been battling it for a year. Hagedorn's wife is Jennifer Carnahan, the GOP party chair. She has been coordinating the Republican election strategy in Minnesota, including for President Trump, who has said repeatedly he hopes to win the state this fall. Congressman Hagedorn and Chair Carnahan were guests on WCCO Sunday morning. I feel great. I haven't missed any work over it. In fact, uh, much to the chagrin of the liberals, I haven't missed a vote due to illness. I'm impressed and inspired by how strong he's been and how committed he is to his job and fighting for the people of the first district and going out to Washington, D.C., you know, every week for votes and then coming back and working on the weekends. Hagedorn is a strong supporter of President Trump and his policies. Hagedorn may face the same opponent he did two years ago in Democrat Dan Feehan, a former teacher, decorated Army veteran, and former Pentagon official. Feehan and several others will face off in the Democratic primary in August. Again, Feehan lost to Hagedorn in 2018 by less than 1,500 votes. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News.